Being a, a Northern Suburbs for the past sort of 10, 11 years, gotten to know one of the greats of our club, Richard Maud, um, who has been here for a, a, sh a short amount of time, just a few years, but we wanted to get his story and uh, sort of tell the rugby world what it's all about. So, first of all, how long have you been around? Well, I first came to the Oval in 1962. My father brought me to a game. I used to play for Lancaster Rugby. My father brought me up here in 1962. There was a red team playing and a green team playing. Yeah. And my father said, son, you like red, you take the red team. My brother took the green team. <laughs> of course, which is North and Gordon. So I've been following North for over 50 years since that day. I then came back and did some years as a ball boy for maybe five, six years. Uh, I stopped playing rugby at Lane Cove and then I came back to North as a manager. So I started doing that in the early 70s and I've been around ever since. So you could say it's 50 plus years. So what makes North as a club so, so unique to you and brings you back every, every year? Uh, I'm just very loyal. Yeah. And I love the fact that North are playing in a competition that's basically amateur, even though we turned professional in 96. We've been around 120 years. So you imagine playing rugby for 120 years in a mostly amateur environment. Mm. I love the friends you meet. I love this, the shit shield culture. Yeah. The guys are playing for the, for the game. And I just love being part of a club. And it's hard to beat this, this ground, isn't it? And you can't beat number, number one overall. Yeah. North and Oval would be the best club round in Australia by a long way. On a, my, on a sunny Saturday afternoon? My second home. Second home? Yeah. Perfect. If I could live here, I probably would. <laughs> so you've been in the club for over 50 odd years and the story is that you technically have missed part of a game, but not all of a game. That's correct. I was at the airport in 1972. North were playing Randwick here. I got here at 4.20, so I saw the last... So a bit late. I was a bit late. Yeah. I was here and saw the last 25 minutes. Is your water boy for the last 25? Water boy, ball boy, I do anything to help the club out. Yeah, perfect. I started as a ball boy. I'm still a ball boy, so I haven't progressed. <laughs> Still the same. Yeah, but job title's the same. Job title's still the same. Yeah. It's very hard to get a good promotion at North. <laughs> <laughs> but I just, I'm driven on game day. I love game day. Yeah. Where you've got four grades, your three Colts, and now ladies rugby. Yeah. They're all playing for North. They're all playing in red and black, and they're out there doing their best. And I just love that. Perfect. Now, I know you're busy on game day because you're usually the first there with all the, the hit shields and the water bottles in the morning, but what's it look like? Even, do you have a pre-match meal, or what's your game day look like? Uh, my game starts Friday night. Friday night? I get ready psychologically for the game. <laughs> I've got to pick up the gear on Friday night. Yep, perfect. So I pick up the gear on Friday night. I'm ready for the game on Saturday morning to be early. I'll be at the game by 8 o'clock on Saturday morning. I unload all the gear, do the water, just make sure everything's in place for fourth grade. I then collect the jerseys during the afternoon, put them back in the shed. Yep. Back in the, in the van, I mean. And then return all the gear to the van at the end of the, at the, end of the day. And during the day I might be touchy, might be water boy, might do a managing job, I'll do anything the club wants me to do. Yep. Pack the gear up at the end of first grade, go back to the um, club and unload all the gear. So it's roughly eight to eight, yeah. which is my day. A few beers after that or not? No, no, I'll go and watch a replay. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. So August 6, 2016 was a pretty special day for the club and, and for us. Um, sort of not, never going to forget, especially at this ground, never going to forget it. But you've been part of a, a few premierships in your time, four over the years. Um, but what made sort of 2016 so special? I guess, you know, we had a, a long break in between, but what made it so special? Well, waiting 43 years <laughs> at a chance to win a premiership is unbelievable. Yeah. Playing at North in the Oval, you couldn't get a better scenario. And the feeling that day to see red and black everywhere, and North with a chance to win the premiership, is something I'll never forget and the way the team played that day, to smash uni in a grand final, which is unbelievable. Yeah. We've copped so much from them over the years, <laughs> and to give, get them one back on a grand final day is something you never forget. Yeah. Just the whole day, the crowd, the atmosphere, and when the full-time bell went, the crowd went on the field and almost stopped the game. That was just an unbelievable scene. And the, the joy and satisfaction you get from that is something I'll never forget. Yeah. And how quick do you reckon you ran down the sideline after Wolfie down that right-hand side? I kept up with two strides, but there's a story behind that. Yeah. Before Wolfie got the ball, I could see we had four on two. Yeah, you were ready. I was ready. Uh, quick hands. I thought, quick hands, he's going to score in the corner and we're going to win the grand final. Yeah. So I got excited and I started running with him knowing we're going to score and win the grand final. Yeah. So that was an amazing moment. Yeah, it was. And it was lucky enough to be captured by one of our photographers. Yeah, very special. 
just a great day for North. Yeah, okay. And we volunteer because we love what we do. That's true. We don't want anything for it. We love, we love volunteering and doing the work. We love the club, we love the players, and the satisfaction I get to watch North run on the field yeah. is all I want. Yeah, and a few wins along the way. A few wins and Benny Gordon. Yeah, and Benny Gordon. Yeah, perfect. And, the, and life member these days as well. Yes. Is that, that a special was, moment for you? Yeah, that was a huge honour. In uh, 2015, I was very fortunate to be nominated as life member. Yeah. I had been nominated before, but I... Didn't make the cut? I knocked it back. <laughs> I didn't think I was worthy enough. Well, that's, yeah. So it, it was then put again, and I was very, very happy to be nominated and, and received as a life member. So what does the community game and uh, sort of mean to you? I mean, you probably come across a lot of volunteers and people over your time from many different clubs, but what does it sort of mean to you? Well, I think club rugby generates a lot of enthusiasm, support from the community because they love rugby. Most clubs have people like me that have been there a long, long time doing work and volunteering for the club. The community get involved by either sponsoring us, coming to game day, getting involved. The kids might play for Norse. Yeah. So the community is a vital part of the club and we try and put it back to the community to show them we're decent guys, we're a decent club and we do the right thing. Yeah. So in summary, the community is crucial to North and how we uh, move into the future. Yeah. So thank you Richard for all you do um, at the club and for the community. Um, with it being community round versus the Brumbies, um, it's special to be able to tell your story to lots of other people. I mean, North know your story but it's great to be able to get sort of the state to be able to know your story. Um, but yeah, thank you for all you do. And as a club legend, I'll keep saying it. Um, yeah, it's an honor to be able to interview you um, and yeah, and be a part of his journey. Um, but yeah, let's go have a kick and have a pass on the ground, eh? Thank you, Hugh. I'm very happy to be honored today with this interview. I love North. North is my life. I'm red and black through and through, and I wouldn't be in North on a Saturday. And thanks, Hugh. Thanks, Richard. <laughs>